Hello guys, welcome to episode 1 of Let's Play Fallout Tactics with me, Haxy Rage. Um, I've pre-made my character uh, to speed things along a little bit. Um, if you do know all there is to know about this game, then have a pause of the video and see what you think of my build. Um, if not, I will explain what all of this stuff does uh, as I level up and um, get more perks and put some points into my skills and whatnot. I'll uh, sit back and let you just watch the intro. after the loading screen. Ten, huh? All right, you mutated redneck green skin sacks of irradiated flesh, listen up. I am Paladin Rychek. I am in charge of training you backward maggots in the art of war and survival. In my time in the Brotherhood, I have personally trained more than 50 initiates, and I am proud to say almost 14 of them are still alive and kicking. The elders have ordered me to mold you flabby, hip-slapping, berry-picking, rat-rubbing, brahmin-kissers into capable warriors. And I am going to do it, even if it kills you. I will teach you how to eat, sleep, walk, talk, shoot, spit, like a Brotherhood soldier. First level of training will be recruitment detail. You'll go to the surrounding villages and see what able-bodied primates are ready for an honest life's work. It is your duty to remind the village elders that if they want continued protection from the scum of this world, they will uphold their end of the bargain by providing resources and their best and brightest for brotherhood training. Now get your weak-kneed, superstitious, soft-skinned, uneducated butts to the armory. You will be issued basic weapon and armor. There are three simple rules to follow with brotherhood equipment. If you damage your weapon, you will spend a week in the box. If you damage your armor, you will spend a week in the box. If you lose either, I'll kill you myself. And one final thing, ladies. Huh? Welcome to the Brotherhood of Steel. At ease, initiate. My name is General Barnicky. I will be giving you your orders before ever mission. But before that, I'd like to personally welcome you aboard. Considering that the Brotherhood basic training attrition rate is 85%, you should be very proud of yourself. Now, on to business. Two nights ago, raiders invaded the resource-rich tribal village of Brahminwood. Their losses have been heavy, and they are now ready to accept the Brotherhood's conditions for protection. We will return their lands and rescue these primitive people in exchange for food and a portion of their older children for new recruits. We must expand our ranks to meet our objectives, which makes every village count. I don't know what is driving the raiders this close to our base of operations, but they have been punishing the surrounding area. Brahminwood is one of many villages that is now occupied by raiders. The inhabitants that did not escape have been slain or imprisoned. Make no mistake, Initiate, they have killed a fair amount of our brothers. Do not underestimate them. You will take your squad to Brahminwood, locate and eliminate the leader of the group of raiders. Once he is removed, his followers will surely fall into disarray. You will then use the Brotherhood's superior might and intellect to butcher the remaining criminals. This is a standard assault mission, so consult the map in your Pip-Boy for the latest intelligence on the area. One more thing, warrior. You must ensure that the village elder survives. He is the key to our plans for this town. According to the local tribal custom, he alone deals with outsiders. Without him, we can have no agreement with the rest of the tribe. Dismissed. So basically, go in, kill the raiders, save all the tribes people. Gotcha. All right, so this is my dude, um, Haxi. This is Farsight. She's like a snipery sort of person. Um, very good with small guns and the like. This is Stitch again, quite good with small guns, and um, he's our medic. So he's got all like sort of doctor skills. Uh, such to keep our guys alive. Um, give me a second just to sort these guys out. And right, let's go talk to this dude. Oh, well, that was a mistake. Thank goodness I didn't blow myself away. 
to this guy. To the Basically tells you to go in there, save as many of his guys as possible. If not, no deal sort of thing. So, we'll go ahead and do that. As you can see on our map, we've got some uh, hostiles in the area. Go sort these guys out. All guns blazing, or should we try and sneak in? Let's have a little sneak. Oh, I can't sneak. Mm, fair enough. Oh, guns blazing, I guess. Go, go, go. wrong about that being cover. This guy sucks with guns at the moment. Right, Mr. Bandit, eat this. Oh, I hit. Didn't think I would at that range. Knife seems more effective at the moment. Oh yeah, look at that. Right, Stitch. Go in there, son. Go in there with that shotty of yours and blow this guy up. Okay, so yeah, this is obviously quite an easy fight. The dog and a guy with a pistol. I'll leave this one to you, dude. So as I said before, uh, I'm not going to load it or, or whatnot when things go wrong. So if my guys get blown away, then it's just tough luck for me. Um, but hopefully that won't happen. Ugh. Rats. Um, so yeah, if you guys have ever played the other Fallout games, the ones before this one, you know the others are a bit more sort of role play. You got like a, uh, a story to sort of fill. Um, whilst this one is basically just missions after uh, mission after mission for the uh, for the Brotherhood, which is uh, which is cool. It gets uh, gets quite in depth. A few uh, twists and twer turns along the way. Well, right, let's loot this guy. See what he's got for us. Uh, first, I want to give you some stim packs because I know you don't start with many. Right, now, loot. We've only got three guys on our team at the moment, but uh, your, your squad size does increase because you do end up getting more recruits and stuff, which you probably will do after this, after we complete this mission. Unfortunately, that probably won't be that good because they're a bunch of, uh, bunch of tribesmen who probably have never held a gun in their life. <coughs> but uh, so far, so far sight seems to have got more kills by swinging a knife, so uh, that might not be a bad thing. The irony, the far side, with your close quarter kills. Right. That's gonna be a cinch, isn't it? Burst you, burst you in the face. Oh yeah. That stitch goes in for the kill. fairly in control at the moment, there's only one red dot on the map. If there's a uh, other dot to start popping up then I'll start to panic, but uh, at the moment it seems to be good. Oh my gosh. You've got a bloody hunting rifle on your hand for crying out loud. Get some good shots please. There we go. Stitch, do your thing. Wrong place, wrong time, Mr. Raider. Should I say Miss Raider? Let's uh, have a look at his loot. Do that quickly because I've just seen another red dot. Looks like someone's behind behind these sandbags. Um, yeah, there he is. Let's get him, boys. Ow! Okay, that was a mistake going that close. Looks like my 
playthrough without losing any characters might fail straight away. Unless Stitch just goes right up to this guy. He goes, hello, look what I've got. Oh yeah. Should I? Yeah. Oh no, that was a mistake. Come on. Just... Yes, there we go. Right, you heal up, actually. I'll get you to use our many skills. Ta-da! Um, first aid. I think he needs to get out. Yeah, he does. He needs to get out of this thing. A little first aid box. Go like that. Does get a little bit of XP every time he heals someone like that, so... A bit of an incentive to heal people like that rather than just using stim packs, which are these things for people who don't know. They're just like a little quick heal. Alright, let's see what other bandits we've got to clear out the area. Oh no, oh no, oh no, no! <laughs> oh shit! Oh, how lucky am I? I know a lot of you are going to be like, what are you doing? You absolute noob! But uh, I will tell you, it's been a long time. I played this in my teens. Um, and I was quite good at it back then. I can't say much for now. It is on hard difficulty, so it's not the hardest. But the same breath is not the easiest either. Uh, how do you get over there? So if I lose this guy here, then it's game over. I can lose these guys, it doesn't matter. But, uh... Yeah, if I use him, it's uh, it's all over. This guy looks like he's got quite maybe an SMG of some sort. That'd be quite nasty. Let's give him a knife. It's a high hit chance. He says, "Wow." Okay, Stitch, it's up to you. But you got a shot at this. It's a good chance you're going to hit your friend. I'm very aware hitting my mates because it could just end badly if I do that. Oh dear. Or let's just like not shoot at all. I'm gonna put this here. Just for when things get nasty. Like so. Ah should be right. I would like the screen to zoom out a bit but I don't think it has a feature such as that. Knife and fast sight. Knife him with your sniper skills with a knife. <laughs> so that's reload. Right, I don't know. This will kill him. I don't know what the spread like is on a shotgun. Might hit her as well. Let's play it a little bit safe and use this. There we go. No, not too bad so far. Taking a few hits, but. What's the quick way to find out damage? Oh. Hmm. Open that box. I'll find that out in a sec, because I definitely don't want like, some sort of handle as a as a weapon. Alright, come on out and we'll sort this uh, weapon malarkey up. <coughs> Um, so how much is it to fire a pistol? Same as a rifle, but... I think she's just been doing better with a knife. Keep that. Um, so that does 10 to 20. I know... St a stitch of the gun. Which is quite nice. Oh. Not as good. Not as good. Okay, we'll stick with the shot. What's this? I think all my guys have got pretty good stuff for the mo. Mm. Yeah, we'll keep stim packs in your hand, I think, just for combat. But first of all, you're gonna heal up uh, our friend Farsight here, because she's been a little bit hurt. Go, go, go. And then we'll carry on killing these bad bandits. These naughty, naughty bandits. So the only little risk of using first aid, it's not really a risk, it's just more of an inconvenience, is they can get something bandaged, which means you can't use any more first aid on them until they've uh, until they've been doctored, which means you sort of, you know, remove the bandage, probably stitch the wounds up or whatnot. And then you can 
use it again, but it uh, doesn't affect the impacts at all, so you don't have to worry about that. Hmm. Can we sneak? Let's try and sneak in there. Hey, there you go. Get down on your knees as well. Increase the chance of sneak, I believe. Or not getting detected or whatnot. So guy there, guy there. I would like Stitch just to run up to this guy and nail him one in the face. Course with a stim pack at hand just in, in case things do go wrong. Go, go, go! You want some of this? Oh, look at that, he's alive! <laughs> did, did he just shoot his friend? Raider hit Raider! Look at that, couldn't have gone better. I'm detected and I have a shite chance of hitting, so I'll just run in there for now. And you, I want... Okay. Oh, I realise that he's taking a more movement by crouching. No, he's not detected, so that's not the worst thing in the world. Stitch, you're just a badass at the moment. I'm going to put that one out there. He's much better than anyone else at the moment. Gets the finishing blow and does the most damage. Ooh, you're severely wounded and you're running away. A little bit too far out of his shotty range, I think. Yeah. So, get far side to open this gate, and then we'll get Haxi to uh, chase after him. He's got like all the movement. I say chase after him. You know, just as calmly as he wants to. <laughs> so that he's not actually gone anyway. He's just not in our visibility. Yeah, looks like it's asleep. Sleeping dog up there, so just got to be wary of that. Right. Is he still there? Yeah, he is. And I'm still managing to sneak somehow. Three dogs. Okay. I have better things to do. Yeah, you say that now. You say that now once I'm kicking your ass. Um. Get him, boys. There's another version of um, the combat system is like not completely turn-based, but I do like the classic style. It's just uh, it's what I was brought up on in Fallout, so I'm going to stick with that. Right, hopefully, come on, fingers crossed. <clears throat> all those bullets, and they all miss. Come on, far side. Let's show off your sniper skills for once in your life. Stitch have to do everything? Really? Oh, I think that dog's uh, aware of us. Oh, and now the other dog's waking up. Brilliant! I'll go back and loot everyone afterwards. For the time being, I've got to chase this guy down. Mm, could have ended combat, I suppose. See what happened. I mean, I don't know if he would have come back and tried to have a pop at me or whatnot, but... Oh, oh dear. Okay. Well, you picked the wrong person, because Stitch is going to blow your head off now. Oh, feeling brave now, are we? Feeling brave now you got your dogs in the picture. Well, oh, eat that. And again. Yeah, do you like me now? Cool, he's still asleep. I don't know if he's seen me yet, he's just sort of stirred. Eat it. Are you serious? Oh, look at that. Right, so... Run away! 
Run away! <laughs> right, I'm gonna turn around and blow these guys up. Aren't we, Stitch? Oh shit, oh shit. Oh, he didn't have the bloody action points because we were moving. We didn't get to uh, recover them at all. They're not like the most damaging things in the world, so I'm not that worried. Especially when you take one out with a knife straight away. Go on, hit him with your handle. <laughs> yeah, so I'm hoping at this point in the game that you know, my guys are pretty shocking in terms of hitting and and, and whatnot. Um, I'm hoping the raiders and whatever else we're coming up against is just as terrible. Um, sort out your second option because the handle is just terrible. 7 to 15, what else we got on us? Um, you've got a bat. Give that to him. Give this blade of some sort to him as well. It takes four action points. So that's about the same. Oh, that is a knife. Hmm. Maybe the 7 to 15. I think this was actually the best thing. Wow. Fancy that. Right. Time for some rewards of the loot variety. So not everything is actually on the bodies, as you can, you might guess. There's like a few scattered things, like booze and a broken bottle. You just got to hover your mouse over everything just to make sure it's lootable. You don't want to miss anything, uh, especially early game, because after you do you complete your mission, you get to um, sell all your junk to a vendor, get some cash, and buy some nice little bits after. sort of shelf skin if you like and not all of them are lootable. Oh. Okay, this guy up here. Tempted just to get stitched to run in there and blow him away. That's exactly what I'm gonna do. Oi! Worked pretty well. Missed that first shot though, which wasn't ideal. If I'd, if I'd hit with that second, no, the, the first shot, <coughs> he would have been dead. Come on! <sighs> oh no! That's not good. <coughs> oh, he's so almost dead. Heal yourself now. What gun did she have? What he have? Thank God for stim packs. <laughs> Crippled. What did I cripple then? Left arm. That's good. If had a two handed gun, he wouldn't be able to use it then. Whew! That was a little bit touch and go. Search the body. Yeah, it was a shotty as well. I think. Oh no. Oh, it's a double barrel here. Yeah. Cool, moving on. Yeah, I realise I make my guy look a little bit odd. Just um just for the purpose of making sure I know which is which, because they do end up looking a little bit samey sometimes. As I said before, if I lose him it's all game over. So we've got a little bit of meta here, and I think because it's got this little talk icon, 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 I'm going to assume that these are friendly, and this guy isn't. Let's find out. Again, I'm going to get Stitch to do his magic. With his shotgun. But I don't want to aim it in that direction. Oh dear, what are we doing? What are we doing? Yeah, I didn't want to shoot that way, because there's loads of slaves there, and you heard in the mission, if I do... If I do lose a lot of slaves, and I, um, or tribesmen, or whatever you want to call them, I don't get a very good uh, mission rating. And I have played this game before. I was 
cheating a little bit to be fair. Um, where if something went wrong in the mission, I'd load it and then make sure I got like the the perfect ending um, for each mission. Uh, it did get a bit too much in the end. I sort of just thought screw it and ended up just uh, just doing the missions just to enjoy them rather than getting the rating. But um, yeah, after this mission, after I've done it, you'll see what the dude says at the end. You could say like you idiot, you killed all the slaves. Where are we gonna initiates from? Or, you, or well done, you saved a lot. Or you had a few, few uh, casualties. Okay, we can't end combat because this guy's here. But I'm tempted to see what he does. So he's coming back now, so we get stitched. To run up this entrance. And I'm putting all my eggs in one basket of stitch, really, aren't I? But. Us, 
but I don't know what that flashing is either. Oh dear. Okay, now he can't see us, we're in cover. That's all good. So I might just get all these guys to pop up simultaneously. I'll give him a shot each, hopefully I'll kill him in one. Right guys, let's make sure we've got their gun selected. So if he's got like a stim pack selected then he's not going to do anything. Stand up and let him have it. Oh, I'm almost dead. Use on him. Fast up's almost dead. Don't get another shot. Whoa. one there thanks for watching guys um, tune in for episode 2 and we'll finish off these bandits there be my next target um, yeah like if you liked and uh, I'll catch you next time Salah.